Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 is a naturally occurring chemical that exists in almost every cell of the human body. It carries out a ton of important roles like the, in the body like DNA replication, promoting energy production and neutralizing harmful particles in the body called free radicals. In this video I'm going to share with you five important things you have to keep in mind when taking CoQ10 so stay tuned till the end. Hi guys, you've seen our son Media Pharmacy here on YouTube. This week's video is on CoQ10. If you haven't already, smash the like button below now as I greatly appreciate it and it helps out the channel so much. Also, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button too to stay up to date with new weekly videos. And without further ado, let's talk about coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is a substance that your body makes naturally and your cells use it to generate energy. It also functions as a powerful antioxidant to help fight free radicals that can cause damage to the cells and DNA. You can find CoQ10 from a number of different types of foods like oily fish, meats, eggs, nuts, and whole grains. The highest concentrations of CoQ10 in our bodies are found in the liver, kidneys, and heart, so it makes sense that the highest concentrations of CoQ10 from food sources would exist within the organ meats. In the vegetable world, you'll be looking at your parsley, spinach, broccoli, and cauliflower. I left a link in the description for more foods that contain CoQ10, but the amount of CoQ10 found in these dietary sources, however, isn't enough to significantly increase the CoQ10 levels in your body. Although supplements are not a replacement for eating healthy foods, they are a good option for filling in nutritional gaps if any exist. And before starting any new supplement, it's best to always ask your doctor first before trying any of them out. So with that said, let's move on to the five things you need to know about CoQ10. Number one, how does it work? Without getting too technical, I'll try my best to paint a clear picture of it. For the body to use CoQ10, it must convert it from its inactive form ubiquinone into its active form ubiquinol. And since the mitochondria is responsible for the powering up the body's cells, they use the CoQ10 to produce what's called ATP. ATP is super important because it's the body's energy currency, but whenever your body does that, the mitochondria produce free radicals. Now, under normal conditions, free radicals are important as they regulate communication between cells and defend the body against infectious microbes, but in excess, when they get too much, the free radicals cause damage which leads to inflammation, mutations, and tissue damage. CoQ10 comes in and acts as an antioxidant which neutralizes free radicals and protects cells from this type of damage. Number two, how much CoQ10 do we really need? The exact dose depends on three different factors, age, health, and what condition you're using it for. A standard dose range from 60 to 500 milligrams. The highest recommended dose is 1200 milligrams. However, clinical trials have used doses as high as three grams per day. Cunol Omega contains CoQ10 that has already been converted to its active form ubiquinol, 100 milligrams, which can actually help you replenish your natural levels sooner. Number three, are there actually any benefits? CoQ10 has been researched for a ton of different conditions and I'm sure you may have heard of many of them. It would take hours to go through all of them, but the two conditions that stand out have been for heart health to bring to prevent heart disease, and this is because the heart contains some of the highest concentrations of CoQ10 in the blood, and reducing muscle pain caused from statins because statins have been found to reduce the amount of naturally occurring coenzyme Q10 in the body. Keep in mind that the studies used for these two have had conflicting results and there's a not enough conclusive evidence to highly recommend its use. A 2014 Cochrane review found insufficient evidence to make a conclusion about its use for preventing heart disease and as far as statin-related muscle pain. A combined analysis of six studies published in 2015 Mayo clinic proceedings found a slight decrease in the pain among statin users who took CoQ10, but the decrease was not clinically significant. So my thoughts about this is if you have muscle pain from a statin medication, talk to your doctor about it as they can make adjustments to best suit your condition. Bottom line, taking 100 milligrams of CoQ10 may give you that benefit, but again, a large trial will be necessary to further evaluate this. So until then, if your doctor approves for you to use it, it shouldn't hurt to try. Number four, is there any side effects I should know of? CoQ10 supplements appear to be safe and most people tolerate them even at high doses. However, they can cause you to feel nausea, headache, upset stomach, and even heartburn. And lastly, number five, interactions. Anticoagulants being a big one. CoQ10 might make blood thinning medications like warfarin less effective, which is why you need to avoid using it if you take warfarin. Another one is blood pressure. CoQ10 might affect blood pressure as it can increase or decrease the effects of some blood pressure medicines. So talk to your doctor first if you have high blood pressure. CoQ10 can actually also affect lab tests that are used for screening prostate cancer. So if you're going in and getting your PSA levels checked, there may be a theoretical interaction, which is why you should let your doctor know you're on it. So at the very least, they can rule that out. Oh, and another thing, smoking cigarettes depletes your body stores of CoQ10. So if you haven't considered quitting, now is a good time to do so. 
Anyways, guys, I hope this breakdown was useful to you guys, and I hope that you did enjoy this video and learned something new. Like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to stay on board with all my other weekly health and wellness videos. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way till the end, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.